Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast is a Christ-centered podcast. Established in 2019 and hosted weekly by Pastor Chris Busher. Addressing a host of topics such as the Great Commission, Christian discipleship, and often featuring interviews with special guests who are experts in their field. The views and events expressed on this podcast and all related materials belong solely to their author and not necessarily to the author's employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. While all attempts are made to present accurate information, some information may become outdated over time. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast makes every attempt to timely update any and all such information. Without further delay, here's another powerful episode of Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. Once again, I am your host here, Dallas Montague. Today we have a wonderful guest, Ola B.C. A. Davis. She's calling from North Carolina today. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Thank you for the opportunity you have given me to be here today. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And you recently wrote a book called The Lord Who Answers by Fire, Principles and Life-Changing Prayers That Move the Hands of God. That's a bold title. That's a powerful title. And so we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a few minutes. But if I can have you start by sharing some of your personal testimony for our listeners today. Okay, first. I need to introduce myself. My name is Olabisi Davis. I'm 66 years old. I'm from Nigeria in West Africa. I'm a mother of four children and four grandchildren. I'm an author, a music writer, a screen, a movie screenwriter, and a co-owner of the Center Virtual Office in Fayetteville, North Carolina. It's nice talking to you today. <laughs> My, the number one question is, what really prompted me to write the book? I really agree with you. That title is just so bold, but God gave it to me. I was sick, really sick, to the point that the doctor don't know what to do with me. And they just want me to go home, go on hospice. But with my family praying day and night, God touched me and I was healed. Wow. Then the Holy Spirit came to me one day. He said, I should write a book. I said, Lord, I did not have the education to write a book. (laughs) Then God told me, He said, if you believe and trust in me, I will help you all the way. I said, okay, Lord, what is the name you want me to give the book? He said, the Lord who answers by fire. Then he told me, I kept you alive. I answered your prayer. But I want other people across the, all my children across the, the world to know how to pray an effective fire ignited mm-hmm. prayer like yours. Then he gave me the 10 golden rules to prayer. So that is how I started. And every time he wants me to write, because uh, I have a limited time, he will prompt me to go under the staircase. I meet the Holy Spirit every evening under the staircase. And that is where he he will tell me to carry my Bible and he will be teaching me what to write. Mm -hmm. If I can write like 30 minutes, I write 30 minutes, I will tell him, Holy Spirit, I'm done for today. Then the next day, I start again. This is how the Lord who answered by fire came to be. Wow, wow. You're listening to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. We'll be right back after this quick word from our sponsors. What should have been one of the happiest times in Marcus's life quickly turned into one of the most difficult and trying times. Moving into a new house and having a new baby should have been one of the moments of celebration. 
But Marcus quickly learned what should have been his promised land was the beginning of his wilderness journey. Life lessons from No Race Drive will inspire, motivate, and draw you closer to God and strengthen your faith. Marcus takes his experiences and breaks them down into 10 life lessons that will help shape your life. Find your copy on Amazon today. Kwaku Menza's new book, God Cares, But Do We?, is a critical narration of the lack of morals and values of today's world. Recent release, God Cares, But Do We?, from Newman Springs Publishing, discusses the lack of morals and values in today's modern world with an insightful conversation that every person should ask about himself. Find your copy on Amazon today. I want to read a little piece of the book for our listeners to hear today. It goes like this. With all the chaos happening around the world, this is the time to build a deeper relationship with God. I definitely agree. Amen. We need a prayer life that gives us direct access to the storehouses of God. When you master the 10 principles of a powerful prayer life outlined in your book, The Lord Who Answers by Fire, we will truly be life-changed. It's a life-changing experience. And so you guys can see today, there's a link below. You can find the copy of this book, The Lord Who Answers by Fire, below on Amazon, on Barnes & Noble, or also by visiting your website, B.C. Davis, which is B-I-S-I Davis.com. So again, thank you so much for bringing this book here today to talk about with our listeners. And a few more questions that I have for you today is that, How did your personal journey play into this book more? Can you give us a little more information behind this? You were sick and God healed you. Praise God for this. What else was happening? Uh, My sickness is one of the inspirations that God used to help me with this book. Because the doctor has given up on on me, as I have told you, and my family has been praying. So God, God used that situation to turn things around for me and heal me. That's what led me to write this book. Okay. And as you can see in the book, there are two testimonies there that I mm-hmm. share where God uh, healed me, victory over sickness and victory over demonic attack. You know, we have so many of them in Africa. They will attack you at their wish. How do we overcome from that? By prayer. Come on. <laughs> By following the 10, ten golden yeah. rules that God gave me. God told me that my children did not know how to pray. That, that is why the Holy Spirit intercedes for them every day. That if I follow these 10 golden mm. rules, that I will have a fire ignited prayer. And I've been using it since then, and and it has been so good. (laughs) (laughs) The whole family has been using this. I have four children in the military. They've been using it. They've gone to Iraq, Afghanistan, everywhere. I don't want to tell our listeners all 10 of your of your rules here, of your lists here today, but I do have a few that I want to touch on that you have written on the description of the book. And I'll read a few of those as well. And I would like you to take just a few of these and give a little more information. Prayers in this book will prompt the release of the power of God upon upon your life. The power of God will open the windows of heaven for you to secure your breakthrough. You will receive deliverance from the power of demonic forces, like you mentioned. You will step into the freedom of financial abundance. You will receive open heaven and emerge into the winner's circle. And you will be victorious in every area of your life, for the battle is not yours, but it belongs to the Lord. So can you take just a few of these and give a little more information for our listeners? Okay. I start with number two. The power of God will open the window of heaven for you to secure your breakthrough. If you follow the ten golden rules in the book of the law who answers by fire, and pray that prayer for complete blessing and breakthrough. You can start from page 50. The power of God will open the window of heaven for you and secure you all the breakthrough you ever needed. There are many testimonies about using these 10 golden rules. 
One, for example, in my life, uh, I moved from Africa to here, and I was looking for <laughs> opportunity, you know, mm -hmm. to secure my, my green card. I pray so much, and, you know, God opened the door for me. I went, I worked with a white lady, a white couple. Mm -hmm. They visited their four children. They babysit a four-month-old baby. They did not think I can do it. But with prayer, I babysit that boy for three years. That boy now has, has been married, and we've been a family for like 30-something years. They employ me, and we pray every day. God help me to take care of four-month-old baby. A white baby that I've never taken care of before. God help me. Every day I pray on that baby that God should let him grow in grace and in the beauty of the Lord. And God did it. The, the parents of the boy were just so surprised to see how their baby is growing. Wow. I pray that God should give that baby wisdom. At two years, that baby can can use Lego to spread the name. The father was so amazed. Did the parents know that you were praying over the baby? I told them, that's the only thing I'm doing, prayer. Mm -hmm. They know. Wow. They saw me where I've been praying. If anything happened, I say, I, can we pray? <laughs> they will look at me and say, okay, go ahead. Because they are Catholic. They will look at me, they say, go ahead. Then I will pray. And the problem will be solved. And what did that what did that do for their faith? Oh, that really increased their faith. That's why they fight for my green card. They fight for my green card, they fight for my four children, they fight for my husband. <laughs> and they pay for my children, even though I paid the money back, they got me a a, a credit card for eight thousand dollars. Wow. Eight thousand dollars to pay for my children's ticket to come here. It took me like two and a half years to pay it off because they've been taking it out of my pay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Praise God for prayer. My goodness, praise God. Yeah, praise God. Prayer is the is the master key. Mm. Pray in the name of Jesus with the ten golden rules. Your prayer will catch fire. Anything else you want to add about this, about some of these points that I mentioned? I will take number three. Okay. You will receive deliverance from the power of demonic forces. As you pray with this pray, uh, the, as you pray with this book, the Lord uh, who answer it by fire, and focus on your prayer point of deliverance. Wherever you want God to do, whatever you want God to deliver you from, and whatever you want God to give you victory over. Mm -hmm. Using this 10 golden rule, God will immediately send you legions of, of angels, angels of warfare to fight on your behalf and deliver you from every attack of the demon and evil spirit. I have the example here. Uh, I was attacked when I was in Nigeria. And uh, I was, it, the doctor said I was mentally ill. But I don't know what really happened to me. But they say I was mentally ill. So I couldn't sleep for, for, for days. I couldn't sleep. Hmm. Then the Holy Spirit was telling me I should pray. I said, Lord. I cannot pray. Please help me. Just please help me. I was able to sleep for like 10 minutes. And I saw this angel fly and jumping down, fly and jumping down, fly and jumping down. Then I saw myself on a table in the camp of the demon. Hmm. I was laid down there. There were seven men with axe in their hands on my right hand, and there are seven women with black wrapper tied on their 
on their chest with mortar, mortar uh, like with pistol, pistol mm -hmm. on their hand. With their leader on the top of my head, the leader is wearing a feather tie. They were waiting for the leader to give them the go ahead before they will start slaughtering me. Then I saw this angel coming. This angel was running, was flying, jumping down. At one time, I couldn't see the angel again. Then what I saw was that the angel jumped from heaven onto the bottom of my feet. You know, I was laying down. The leader was on top of my head. The angel was on, on, my, on the side of my feet. Mm -hmm. And... The angel was having a staff, a staff in his hand. And he was pointing the staff to the, to the demonic leader. And the, both of them were just speaking in tongues. They wow. spoke in tongues for so many minutes. At the end, the angel went. And the demonic leader bowed his head in surrender. The seven men follow him, bow their head in surrender, and the seven women bow their head in surrender and follow the seven men, and they all walk out in shame. That is how I received my victory that day. The wow. third day, I was discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Wow. Your prayer is really good. Prayer will draw you closer to God, and God, as you draw closer to God, the more power you have, the more anointing you have, the more God teaches you everything. Mm -hmm. I want to look at this other one that says you will receive open heaven and emerge into the winner's circle. Can you explain that one a little more as well? This is for like something like breakthrough, like breakthrough or, or business success. Breakthrough or business success. Yeah, if you pray this prayer and follow this golden rule, as a born-again Christian, God wants us to prosper in every area of our life and receive a breakthrough and become a winner and successful because that is his plan for us. He's a rich man too. Mm -hmm. and he, he wants we, his children, to be, to be rich. So if we pray this prayer, if you pray this uh, prayer with the seven golden rules, everything you touch will prosper. Just tell God, Father, this is what I want. This is what I want. He will immediately do it for you. Let me give you an example. Uh, there is a testimony last year. Uh, I was living with my daughter for five years since I came here. Then they transferred my daughter to Fort Bezo in, uh, in uh, Virginia. Mm -hmm. But I cannot live in Fort Bezo house all by myself. I'm 66 years old. So my daughter has to rent the house out. I went to rent the house. I don't like renting. And I started praying, Lord, I don't like renting. They always come into my house when I'm not here. People will pop in into my apartment. Mm. They will just leave a note, we are in your apartment. I said, Lord, please buy me a house. Mm -hmm. I'm your daughter, please buy me a house. And I started praying. I didn't even pray this, this uh, prayer for a month. I contacted some of the mortgage company. They said because... Uh, I, I filed a business uh, tax return that they need my personal tax return. And, you know, I don't, I don't have personal tax return. I only file one tax return. Mm -hmm. So I went to God. I said, Lord, please grant me favor. They want a personal tax return. I don't have it. Please use somebody for me, Lord. Open the door for me. Come and buy me my own house. Do you know, those people that rejected me before, they called me back and gave me the loan. Hmm. <laughs> I moved into this house last October wow. to the 
praise of, of the living God. Hmm. So whatever you ask God to do for you, just follow the 10 golden rules. It will be done in a flash. Hmm. Amen. I got a couple questions Amen. for our audience today. What are some prayers that they can begin to pray today to increase their spiritual life and their relationship with God? A reader should always repent of their sin. That's number one. Because God hates sin. They should repent of their sin and submit their heart to God to have mercy on them. Every day they must do that. Number two, they should always ask God for spiritual cleansing, cleansing, to remove every spiritual contamination from their life because that might hinder their prayer too. Number three, they should ask for spiritual growth to, to, for God to teach them, guide them, and direct their way every time in their spiritual journey. And that will do that for them. Then they should always ask for the baptism of fire. This holy fire is what will destroy every impurity in their life and bring them closer to God. So they can read this and pray the prayer of spiritual sanitation in my book. It starts from page 29. And they will see the power of God flowing in their life. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And can I have you share again, where can we find this book? My book, The Law Who Answered by Fire, can be purchased on my website, bcdavis.com. It can also be purchased at Amazon or the bookstore across the nation iTunes, mm -hmm. and it can be downloaded at Kindle. Mm -hmm. And if they need a, a prayer, they can go to my website, find the link to my Instagram or my Facebook and send me their uh, prayer request. And I will, I will pray for them. I will join her with them to pray. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says, whatever two or four will join hands to pray or not shall be done in heaven. So prayer of agreement is very powerful. And if I can have you end our podcast today with a prayer, I would really appreciate it. Okay. We just need to thank God for, for making it possible for us to be here today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor, Father, for making the postcard interview possible today. We bless your holy name for all you have helped us to accomplish. Glory be to your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all my readers that will be reading from this book all across the nation. I pray that you will answer their prayer with fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. To you be all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. You've just listened to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast with your host, Pastor Chris Busher. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast was recorded live in studio with final editing made before uploading. Subscribe today to Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast on iTunes or Google Play. For more fantastic daily content, visit Pastor Chris Busher online via Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Don't miss the next episode on Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast.